hello guys so hope all of you do it well and going forward in this series let's continue our next topic which is the supplier interface so supplier interface present in java.util.function package so as you know all the functional interfaces which got introduced in java 8 is present in this same package only all right so same goes with the supplier interface also and let's see its usage so what it does and where we need the supply interface so let's understand this one so supply interface is as the name suggests it will supply you something so if you are using or constructing any object with the use of supplier interface then where you will want that uh, object you have that access easily so so this line which just i said get more clarity on when we see the examples now we will see the abstract method so it support one abstract method get and it 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 doesn't have any default method okay so let's quickly go to the examples where we will see the supply interface and here we will see the examples of supplier interface so let me do first comment here for the supplier interface okay so let me see the uh, source code of supplier this is supplier and control this one so supplier interface as you can see here is also a functional interface which got introduced in java 1.8 and it does only have one method that is get and get will return you one object or the generic type right any object or any uh, value which you want to be supplied so think think like that the name is supplier so that means it will supply you things in the code okay and it is exactly the opposite of consumer consumer what consumer will take consumer will take uh, any input and consume it and manipulate it but what supplier will do supplier will give you something okay so supplier is exactly opposite of the consumer and if we'll see the consumer interface where we have uh, this one right consumer so consumer will accept input and supplier will help you to get an output so let's quickly code this one here i have created one supplier and i in this supplier i'm creating one employee object and this is uh, emp sub it's and uh, what so as it so as it doesn't take any uh input so the this one will be like empty here and after that we have lambda syntax and in the in this syntax we will return one object of employee type new employee and in the employee object what we have we have the name so let's say Roomba is our employee name and this is let's go there and the designation okay so designation is uh, let's say dance teacher just just okay and it's got salary of uh, 10,000 and what we have the other one it has the gender and the list of hobbies so gender is let's say female and hobbies we will pass as a list so I will use a arrays class of uh, sorry for that uh Oh, sorry arrays class as list and I will pass hobby dancing here dancing and then the second will be let's pick reading books which I don't like all right so this is there and this semicolon no no not here here semicolon and then one more semicolon here so it will it will create one supplier okay 
now what we will do we will get this object so wherever you need this object in your project you can like do uh, emp sub and you can call the abstract method of supplier and that's it it will return the employee object for you so this is the basic uses of supplier although you can't see the must usage but uh, i have to give an example to you so that's why i've given so let's see the next topic oh before going to the next topic let's execute the one as you can see it is giving me the employee object here right and if you want to see the values then you need to implement the two string in the employee class which we can do later as of now that is it for this video let's meet in our next video till then please subscribe our channel bye bye